sir. Just moments before we were scheduled to start, we talked back on with the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. It's been absolutely terrific and expediting the testing of the evidence that was submitted to them. And they have uh, excluded Mr. Bain as the source of the semen on the uh, victim's underwear. And they have found uh, uh, no indication of serological value on the defendant's pants or underwear. Uh, he just not connected with this particular incident. So based on that, the state of Florida, along with uh, the defense, would like to file with the court a joint motion to vacate the judgment and sentence. State of Florida would also uh, like to file just to make sure there's no misunderstanding. Uh, notice of null process in this case, and we will submit to the court in order uh, vacating the judgment sentence. Gentlemen, is there anything else before I sign the order I need to do? <laughs> Hearing nothing, I'll go ahead at this time, assuming I've got a pen somewhere, which I do. I am now signing the order, sir. You are a free man. Congratulations. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Again, my name is Seth Miller. I'm the executive director of the Innocence Project of Florida. Um, we're a little bit surprised and elated with this result today. Uh, we were expecting to come into court today and have them uh, release Jamie with some conditions until uh, the state could review the test results that we released last week and confirm them before they made a decision about the final result. Just before the hearing, um, FDLE, um, acting swiftly, understanding uh, the import and the exigency of the situation, um, finished those test results very quickly and just before the hearing uh, called Mr. Hill, the state attorney, and told him that everything is worked out, all has been confirmed, and that Mr. Bain is actually innocent of the crime for which he was convicted in 1974. Hello, my name is Jamie Bain. Amen. Y'all have any questions? How are you feeling? Fine. <laughs> Did you ever think this day would happen? Excuse me? Did you ever think this day would happen? Nope. What are you going to do? Uh, what are you going to do after you leave all these cameras? Well, I'm going home with my family, and I will stay in touch with my lawyers more than anything else. <laughs> One day at a time. <laughs> good answer, good answer. Have you thought about how you're going to begin to move on, and uh, have you thought about what you want to do? 
Not only, not right now, I don't have, sir. I'm going to leave that up to the Lord. Amen. 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 That's the best question I can give you on that answer, sir. What do you get when you get home? I'm going to see my mom, the one I just got off the phone to. That's the most important thing in my life at this moment, besides God. Amen. 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 Your family said that you, that you were the one that always lifted their spirit when they came to visit you. How were you able to such a bright outlook on By watching Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand what I mean by that. We explain what I mean by that, such a short period of time, a, uh, a two-month cruise, meeting someone you never met in your life, will last now for a lifetime someone passed in your life, but it gave you life to go on. Amen. And that's how you looked That's the way I seen it, sir. How, how did you get through 35 years? What was going through your mind during all that time? What was going through my mind? Quite a few things, but the main thing is maintaining myself and to get back to my mom. Amen. Well, I kind of feel neglected of that because I didn't have any outside help until they came to me. All the motions I filed before I met them, they was denied. But as soon as I got in touch with them, they went directly to, uh, they react di directly to the motions. Do you think you're unique or there are many other people possibly behind bars that are saying they're innocent as well? Most definitely. Most definitely. They are. There are many. What's your message to them, those other folks that are still in jail who may be wrongly convicted? They need to try to find this kind of help that I have here. Most, <laughs> in, most of all, this kind of help. Someone they could trust and believe in. What are you looking forward to? I, I talked to your mom yesterday and she was telling me some of the things you asked for. Fried turkey, Dr. Pepper, <laughs> 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 double mint gum. What else, what else is on your list? Well, actually, I'll have to figure them out once I get to them. But those are the main objects right now for his food. Yeah. Anything you want to do specifically? No more spend time with my family more than anything else because of the separation. Has there been anything in the 35 years while you were on the inside that you said, wow, I'd really like to see how that works or how it's changed? You know, things are different than when you went into prison 35 years ago. Yes, but as it's been, as y'all know, I had to wait and see. Even though when I caught a, caught a glimpse of it on the TV or when I was transferred for going back and forth with the prisons. Was that the first time you used the cell phone when you were talking to your mom? That is the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. God loves you. <laughs> Appreciate that, miss. Thank you. Jamie, are you angry? No, I'm not angry, sir. Amen. Why not? I'm not. Because I got God in my hands. Amen. That's why I'm not angry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I knew one day he will reveal me. Amen. Jamie, do you feel that the state of Florida owes you anything else? No, sir. No, sir. Not at all. Only God. Amen. I owe him. Amen. Jamie, this means that the person who really committed this very heinous crime is still out there somewhere. Well, God will take care of him just as well as he took care of me. Amen. Very good. Answer. The state ends up paying people who have been wrong. So, I mean, you're basically, our math is correct, you know, $1.75 million for the state. Have you thought about that? Yeah, but God can pay even more. <laughs> That's the best I can tell you, sir. Amen. Amen. Yes, again. Talk about your friend. Jamie, can you talk about the role Tampa. of your family in getting you through these 35 years? That have been my motto, sir. My family. Because they made sure I went to the canteen. <laughs> I had what I need. I didn't have to beg. I didn't have to ask. Amen. They was there. They were there. Janie tells me you'd like to go to school. 
Yeah, I will. I will attend some school very soon. <laughs> because I don't even have a high school diploma. I was too busy worried about getting out. This, that was the last thing on my mind, a GED. But now it's here, and I can get it. Well, what, are you, what are you most interested in? Excuse me? What are you most interested in doing? What do you want to study? Reading and writing. You've got quite a story to tell. Excuse me? You've got quite a story to tell. I'm aware of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm aware. Can you ever describe the feeling that you had? Excuse me, speak a little loud. Can you describe the feeling you had when the judge said you're a free man? Oh, oh. Um. I guess I have to kind of feel like when they first landed on the moon. <laughs> we have touched down. <laughs> I have to say about this DNA, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to do one of the two. And I tell these gentlemen in prison that have this type of case, it's going to do one of the two, free you or lock you. That's right. Because they don't want to know nothing else but that when they come to see you. So ain't no sense of you trying to scheme on them because they know the results going to tell the truth. That's right. They put these in plastic bottles. And, uh, and, uh, we got a Mountain Dew and, and, and Dr. Pepper for you. So, uh, so, and, and, you know, in, in the free world, you have choices. So you, you don't have to only drink one. You can drink both. So, so, and we got you some gum, too.